Austin and uh, excited to be your host tonight and part of the presentation as well. Hopefully we'll see. And uh, just, you know, really, really pumped about, you know, Vox Direct and what we're doing. And I've been in the industry networking for, uh, you know, 17 years, part-time spare time. I went full-time, gave my job back to the economy back in uh, 08 and haven't looked back. I've been an entrepreneur, serial entrepreneur and uh, indirect sales and marketing uh, since and uh, really looking forward to what Vox is going to present here uh, moving towards our launch in January. Uh, top of the year and, and moving forward. So I wasn't looking for an opportunity, but uh, the gentleman that brought this information to me, uh, he needs no introduction when it comes to the industry of direct sales, uh, his knowledge, his expertise, uh, you know, his um, diligence, you know, when it comes to this industry is impeccable. So uh, you'll hear from him later, but uh, let's get into some information about Box Direct and uh, what we have here. Let me make sure this is set up properly. All right, let's see, Oops. good. And I see we've got guests from all over the country here on the line, that's good to see. Probably have a few more people chiming in here shortly as well. But uh, Vox is a family owned company. They've been out, been around, the parent company actually, Vox Ox has been in existence since 2006, uh, over 14 years. Uh, as a licensed telecommunications company, uh, they have invested uh, uh, $80 million into the product and they own the patents, folks. They own the software, they own the platform. There's no third party providers. Uh, and if you've been in technology, if you've been in telecom, uh, in direct sales, or just in business, you know how important uh, when it comes to the margins, how important those uh, three things are. Uh, having a company that just outright owns everything, right? They owe and they don't owe anybody anything, <laughs> and the, uh, the you know the the margins are very very high. So that's exciting. So we see the family owned here, the Hertz brothers, CEO, co-founder, CTO, co-founders as well, uh, and uh, just a, just an awesome you know group of individuals from, from what we're learning about the company and uh, the other people that have partnered with them for many many years. So. Uh, a great, you know, great company from a tech standpoint, but also a people standpoint, really, really important. So Vox Ox has been serving large corporations all over the world with their cloud-based communications product. So the product is a cloud-based product. Uh, if you're familiar with telecom, voice over IP, text blasting, uh, virtual assistant, things of that nature, uh, that's what it's all about, right? They've had this product for 14 years. It's tried and true. Uh, there's no guesswork in the deal. It works, right? It's amazing. 14 years in business with big, big corporations, Fortune 500 companies, and now they want to offer it to small business owners. So here's the solution here. Turn any smart device into a complete virtual phone system, unified business number, phone, plus text, and fax, extensions, transfers, hold music, multiple virtual assistants, call routing, uh, unique toll-free numbers, right? That's huge. Having a unique 1-800 number is a huge deal. We'll, we'll talk about why. Uh, record calls and leave voicemails, text message marketing with scheduled sending as well. So that's just a few of the cloud-based uh, you know, technology that we're bringing to the market here. Another thing I love about Fox Ox is <clears throat> no one else in the world has a patent on what it is that we're doing. <clears throat> we have a virtual assistant with the text blasting uh, tech capabilities as well. No one on the planet has that patent, folks. Just Box Direct, okay? I'm really, really excited about it. So how... Uh, you do you get started? You just basically pick a plan, folks. Box Direct plan. It's a Box Direct standard. It's thirty nine a month. You get one phone number, two hundred fifty text blasts. Blasts. Uh, Box Direct Pro, eighty nine dollars a month. You get two phone numbers, a thousand blast text messages as well. Box Direct Premier is someone that's serious about what we're doing. They see the vision. They see the uh, potential in the business, and uh, we definitely recommend and highly suggest you come in at one thirty nine per month really to just be a product of the product in its full capabilities, right? Three plus phone numbers, 2,000 plus blast text messages as well. Folks, that means you can have as many as you want when you see that plus sign. And all the other limited features that are there as well, uh, including at the very bottom, there's studio recorded greeting uh, for your virtual receptionist. So very, very powerful technology. And once again, only you want to only find it here uh, at Vox Direct, all right? Now, I think I may be transitioning. <laughs> I've just got a good idea there. Yeah, uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some screen uh, sharing here. Okay, awesome. 
So look, listen, I want to go ahead and do a proper introduction. Mr. Glenn Crawford, you hear there, gentlemen, is the leader and founder of uh, one of the the founding 12 of Vox Direct, the founding 12 members uh, direct to the company, and obviously the leader and founder here of the Code 14 that we're building. Uh, gentlemen, like I said earlier, needs no introduction when it comes to network marketing, direct sales, uh, mentorship, uh, coaching, consulting. He's done it all, does it all. He's got a company that consults other companies, uh, actually consulting Vox Direct as we speak as well. So. Uh, just great to have him, you know, uh, lead us and mentor us and show us the ropes and show us, you know, how to get the most out of ourselves uh, day in and day out to really scale this business. And uh, like I said, I wasn't looking for an opportunity, but because of this gentleman, uh, you know, I've, I've locked on with him and I'm going full force because of what he brings to the table. So, Mr. Crawford, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Kenneth. Thank you for getting on and hosting. I know you have a lot going on with the move, and it's nice to see you with that new background over there. I don't know what's going on, but I'm I'm anticipating a virtual tour here. Uh, you know, it's funny. We connect in the morning, and it's like, all right, I'll talk in an hour, and then it's like eight hours later, you know. Um, but, you know, obviously we got a lot going on here. But uh, thank you uh, for, you know, doing what you do and, and uh, you know, and uh, – really running the team and, and, and getting all this stuff going. Um, and, uh, you know, hey, guys, I wanted to transition tonight to uh, get you some more training um, on uh, some of the things that we need to be doing in an effort to focus on getting customers. Um, you know, this all starts with getting personal customers in the door. So, um, in order to be to get customers, you 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 everybody's going to need to be a product of the product. As uh, the last week or so, I've been going out and I've had uh, probably about four or five different discussions with small business owners, and there's a couple of small but very important distinctions that I think uh, ha, you know I've made in my business, and I wanted to share them with you. So number one is. <clears throat> We want to make sure that we're talking about and leading with the text message marketing. Um, I think I've mentioned that before, um, so I don't think that would be really kind of uh, you know a new uh, piece of information for you. But um, one of the things that you're going to see come up here um, on um, our, we're building some some you know new slides in the presentation, but this is a new slide that you're going to see worked in, um, which is the Wayne Gretzky. Um, a good hockey player uh, plays where the puck is. A great hockey player um, plays where the puck is going to be. And, um, you know, the, there's, this is going to come in play in a couple different places. Number one, during our presentations, um, to start to plant the vision in people's mind of playing in an arena of the future of communication, not just where it is now, you know, because – um, this is about this is about getting ahead of the communication curve, and business is all about communication. Texting, um, especially as you guys can see, being on the team, the way I communicate using the text message marketing, um, I don't just do that to um, give you a view of how it works, um, which obviously you you should be taking notes and, and duplicating that, but. Um, I use it because I use it to build my business and communicate with my team. And, you know, that is one of the many different ways that you can use the text message marketing system to grow and enhance your business. And I'm constantly adding people to that text marketing list. The bigger the list grows, it's, you know, really the easier it becomes to communicate with people. You know, it's I go on and I'm like, oh, yeah, let me send out a message you know, oh, I missed something, let me send it out again, or, you know, it doesn't matter, I'm communicating via text message out to um, a large group of people, depending on way the, the way the text message is written, that message is going to sound and look like it's coming right from one person, so, um, you know, again, this is about being able to, to think in business where the puck is going, um, another analogy that um, um, I used with, uh, uh, and again, this is going to come up in another place, and the other analogy also, uh, we're having a, a video uh, produced uh, right now. Um, we're meeting with the group tomorrow, 
Um, so I showed them this and I also showed them or gave them the analogy of if I was, you know, uh, let's say if I spoke English and I was dropped out of a, a plane in China or Japan, you know, or wherever, um, a non-English speaking country, um, would I get on the ground and expect everybody to learn English to accommodate me? Or would I be on the ground and have to learn the language of wherever it is I landed to accommodate the masses of people that are there? It's the same thing with your customers when you run a small business. You can't ask customers to speak your language to accommodate you. You have to go into their world and speak the language that they speak. Um, so if you look at like texting statistics, um, which obviously the, the promo or short training video is going to have a lot of text, testing statistics in it. Um, you know, we're, you'll see more and more the um, how significantly, um, how significant it, the, the difference is between texting and let's say emailing to communicate with customers. Um, but then also go through all the different ways that you can use text message marketing. So again, you're going to, you're going to see this slide kind of come up. Um, and, uh, and, uh, it's going to come up in a couple of different places. Um, you know, because we want to get these businesses thinking about how to use the text marketing, um, to, to, uh, build their business. And one of the things that we need to focus on with when you're having a conversation with a, with a company is, you know, I think some of the reasons why people might kind of be a little standoffish is because they just don't understand it. You know, they don't understand like, well, I don't, I don't know the software, you know, and when people don't know something, they get intimidated by it. And because they're intimidated by it, they just shut down on it. It's like, no, I don't think that's something I'd be interested in. It is our job to almost do like a business consultant you know, take on a business consultant role with them and educate them on how business text marketing could help them improve their business. Um, so, um, you know, in order for us to do that, we need to really start to find ways to, um, to use this part of the service um, in your lives, in your businesses. Um, now, I think a lot of that will come if you're actively out promoting your business. Um, you know, I just cleaned up my back office and got rid of a bunch of my lists, but, um, and I'm doing that because I'm getting ready to, to actually start some new lists. Um, but what one of my recommendations would be is to go back here and start some of your subscriber lists. You go in here, hit new subscriber list. So I don't know, it says my internet is, is unstable. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, you kind of cut out a little bit, but you're back on now. All right, yeah, I told everybody to shut down their internet. It's a little stormy over here. Um, so in, in what, I, um, what I was saying is, you, everybody should go into their text marketing back office and open some subscriber lists. And all you do is you just go on, add subscriber list. And so um, what, you know, you can name the list or come up with any keywords according to your phone numbers. Uh, but let's just say, uh, you know, uh, prospecting list. And we'll say, uh, we'll say uh, info. Okay, so. So now I have this set up where if someone uh, texts the keyword info to my number, 844-267-6503, I'm now live with that list. I mean, it's that simple. So now when I'm communicating with a, with a, with a business, and I did this because you know, I didn't really have a list that I wanted to opt somebody into. I was having a conversation with a woman yesterday or the day before and I'm like man I don't have the list set up that I want to use for her I gotta go back and get myself reorganized with my own text marketing back office so info 
is going to be a list that I can use um, for people that I communicate with at all, at any level, about the text marketing platform. Um, and then essentially, what I would do is either I would have them opt in to that list, or I could go ahead and add their number in. So I'm showing you guys live. Um, this is one of the prospects that I am um, talking to right now, who I did talk to about the system. So she knows I'm opting her in. So now I've opted her into that list and then I, I, I'll communicate, but I'm going to communicate via that, that prospecting list. And then as I add more people into that list, um, I'll grow that, that customer list. Um, and so some of the messages that I might send out to that list, um, you know, would be, Hey, to get on something like this, to watch a product demo. Um, why not? You know, I mean, they don't have to stick on and go through the compensation plan if they don't want to go through the compensation plan, but they can come on Monday night or Wednesday night and go through a live demonstration of how the product works. And, you know, that's something that, you know, we consistently do as a team. Um, there's no reason why somebody that is just going to be a customer can't come on and look a little deeper at the, the, the product. Um, so I could send out a link to the Zoom and say, you know, hey, you know, uh, when we talked the other day, you expressed some interest in Vox Direct. Why don't you jump on to this Zoom and um, check out the product? Uh, by the way, they also are going to talk about the compensation plan. Um, as you know, it is a direct sell, selling company. Um, you don't have to stay on for that part if you don't want to. Um, so when they start crossing over into money, if you're not interested in that part, feel free to jump off. That's it. And, and I, cause I did tell her it was a direct selling company. Um, you know, the, but I was more concerned when I was talking to this particular, uh, contact, I was more concerned about talking to her about how to use text marketing to grow her business. Now, her business is a um, health, um, you know, like a health store, like a vitamin shop. And when I was in the vitamin shop, they had moved some stuff around. It's a store that I had been in before. And I said, I said, wow, it's interesting. You guys moved over, you know, what are you guys doing back here in the corner? And she said, well, we do, you know, like events, you know, and I was sort of like, what kind of events? She said, well, we do CBD oil events. Uh, and we also do, um, we have a water filter events. Uh, once a month, I'll have the guy from the water filter company come in and he does like, you know, testing samples, goes through different explanations. And, and so we'll invite people to that. Um, you know, we have people come for the CBD oil event and, um, you know, promotes people to the store, et cetera. And I said, how many people are you get into those events? I mean, small, maybe five or six people. And I said, well, here's how you can use the text marketing to promote your store. So instead of um, trying to just tell people when they walk in the door about the events that you have coming up, what I would do is I would have my number on this whiteboard because she had a whiteboard behind the cash register. So I would have my number, which is 844-267-6503. And, you know, I might, uh, the name of the, um, the name of the vitamin shop is called the honey tree. I might, I might have honey text the word honey to this number. And then when people come up to the register, I would say, Hey, um, you know, this is, you want to get on this text list, take your phone out. And then I would show them how to text the word honey to get on that list. I would have them opt in right on the spot. And then I would let them know that anytime they run a sale, like a secret sale, you know, for loyal customers, or anytime there's a special or there's a special something that they get in or they're promoting an event, they're going to text out to their, you know, to the people that have opted in. Um, to be a part of their um, uh, text list. And, uh, and then as you grow your text list, 
from, you know, 10 to 20 to 30 to 40, 50 to 100, 150, who knows, um, you'll start to see more and more people coming in and taking advantage of it. And by using the Vox Direct app, and I, I pulled out my phone and I showed the app on my phone. And I basically just like this here, let me, let me kind of show you here. So I did Okay, so I take out my phone, right? So you guys can see my phone. Uh, my internet just totally crashed. Okay, well, there's Kenneth. So I, um, I take out my phone and he did move into a new house tonight. So, you know, that's the problem with running live events, which is why it's good that we have recorded events um, for the team. Um, but I'll take out my phone and on my phone, I'll go right into the... Uh, Vox Direct app. Uh, oh God! So for some reason I'm not signed in, so I'm not going to get into all that. But I'll go into um, the Vox Direct app, and I just showed her on the Vox Direct app um, my um, uh, my uh, you know uh, you know like what it looks like on the phone and how I can communicate back and forth with people, and you know, and I'm showing her my phone and how easy it is. And then um, I went right to my site and showed the prices. And I'm like, you know, you probably don't as a customer. I'm, well, I said, look, I said, look, the most it could be is $139 a month. Um, but you probably don't need to go to that level. But why don't we do this instead of you deciding that now, it's $39.89 or $139, depending on what you choose. Um, I'll send you out an invite to one of uh, the events I do this week, get online and you can see more of what the back office looks like. Um, and, you know, and like, get an idea of how it all works, um, you know, um, and you'll be able to log in. I knew she wasn't going to be able to log in tonight, but you'll be able to log in um, and you'll be able to check it out. And, so use the events um, for your bit to just for customer um, promotion. Um, you know, I mean, we're, I think one of the things that, and we, and Kenneth and I, we were discussing this as taking, um, you know, a good solid half hour. And especially if we don't have a lot of guests on really focusing more on product training um, and customer gatherer training. Um, this is all good stuff that we can all use to build our business. Um, and, you know, um, obviously we also will have the recordings every time we do one of these events, um, zoom events, we're recording these. And then I go back and I'll edit some of the information out, um, that is like dead space or bad internet connections. I try to kill off some of that stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'm not a video editor, so I can't sit there and do the whole thing, but I can get rid of some of this stuff, you know, and then we have content for the future to be able to just say, Hey, go watch this video. Um, you know, he spends probably like a half hour talking about how the text marketing works. Um, you know, that's a good video for you to watch. Um, but you know, one of the quotes I love is, um, Sa for saving money is you know, when's the best time to start saving money? And the answer to that is 20 years ago. Well, when is the next best time today? Right? So if you didn't start 20 years ago, then you got to start today because in 20 years, you're going to wish you started again. So it's the same thing with building your list. If I'm a small business, right? Or any kind of business, right? For you guys too, it's like, well, when's the best time for you to start building your prospecting list and using this, the text marketing system? Well, three months ago, <laughs> right when we started. Well, when's the next best time? Today. Start using these tools and the system. And I don't care if you just have a few people on there. You just have to be, um, you know, just be creative with how, what you're texting out and how you're communicating even still to this day, I have people that are signed up with Vox Direct that will communicate back to me as if I sent them a one-on-one -on -one message through the Vox Direct app um, when that message was actually intended for 20 or 25 people. Um, you know, so 
it's 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 incredible to me that people still think I'm I'm still texting them one on one, but I do specifically design and write the text messages purposefully so that it feels like a one on one communication. That is the type of communication as a small business owner you're going to want to have in your business. You're going to want it to feel like it's a uh, like a one-on-one -on -one communication. So you have to understand, well, what are some of the things that we could be texting out our client base? Well, um, I, I hit on a couple, but let me go a little bit slower. How about one is a loyal customer discount? Um, you know, maybe like a, a Cyber Monday type thing or a secret sale just for loyal customers. If I have 100 or 150 people that I've grown on my list or 25 or 50 people on my list, and then I own a store and I'm gonna run an extra 10% off for loyal customers uh, if you come in anytime on Monday between you know, 10 o'clock and three o'clock, okay? So it's like, who knows, but it's always like, you know, that's a, a one way you could certainly drum up customers. Um, you know, if I owned a, a, a you know, a health foods place, like a, a health store like that. Um, another thing I might do is, again, communicate uh, or promote when I'm doing a live event. Um, how about um, asking for referrals? You know, you don't do it a lot, but every once in a while, I might ask for a referral. Hey, send me a customer. And if they will come in and tell me that you sent them, I'll give you a free vitamin thing or whatever. Um, you know, so it's really about finding new and creative ways to communicate via text with your client database. If you get them comfortable with texting back and forth because you're sending out messages, you're also going to start to find that those customers will start texting you which is, oh, again, this goes back to